Tina Anderson. I am the CEO and co-founder of Just Thrive Probiotic. And I'm here to tell you about the exciting new category of probiotics. So um, Just Thrive Probiotic is a spore-forming bacteria. So the majority of probiotics that most people are familiar with are lactobacillus bifidobacter-based products. This is not a lactobifido-based product. This is a 100% spore-forming probiotic. And there's a really, really important factor in that. Um, spore-forming bacteria um, are basically, they're called spore-forming because they create an endospore around themselves. That endospore, in, and it's natural, there's no enterocoding or anything like that. This is the way nature intended us to condition and take care of our gut. So the endospore basically is an armor-like shell around itself. And when it has that armor-like shell around itself, it is um, in its dormant state. So when it's in the capsule, it's in its dormant state. When you swallow it, it's in its dormant state. And it, that is what allows it to get through the gastric system alive. It's not until it hits the intestine that it goes into its live vegetative cell state. This is really, really important because the first part of the definition of a probiotic is that it survives. Um, it's a very important part of the definition. Um, and these actually survive naturally, 100%. They get into the intestines alive. When they get to the intestines, they do something really, really cool. They actually have the ability to read the microbial environment. So if they sense a pathogen, um, a pathogenic organism, they actually have the capability of creating antibiotics. So uh, we've identified up to 25 antibiotics. These are not broad spectrum antibiotics. These are naturally existing antibiotics that actually help kill off pathogens in your gut. Um, on the flip side, they create compounds and nutrients to actually feed the you know, good organisms in our gut. So um, the best way, I, lo I love to use the garden analogy for this because you, if you envision a garden that's been stepped on and traveled on and there's weeds growing all over the place, these strains, you throw the seeds in, they get there 100% alive, but they, they don't just pass through like many of the other lactobifido strains. They actually attach to the soil. Uh, these strains have a 21-day life cycle in the gut, so they're transient, but they're there for 21 days doing a lot of work. Um, and then they have the capability of getting rid of the weeds in the garden, and then they have the capability of bringing those plants that have been stepped on and trampled on back to life. So it's such an effective approach to gut health. It's not just creating some symptomatic relief, it's actually getting to the root of the problem. Um, you know, we always like to say it's, it is, it's like the gardener of your gut. It actually is taking care of the garden on a daily basis. You can't leave your garden alone without taking care of it. And so it's the same type of approach. Um, it's a very, very effective approach. We have a lot of studies behind it. We have a gut model study that shows that these strains cause a 30% favorable shift in the gut. Um, that's very, very powerful. Because like I said, it's creating, you know, it's fixing the imbalance going on, which imbalance in the gut is really the root cause of all these diseases that people are having. Um, it also um, creates, this is a really neat um, benefit of the product is it um, creates antioxidants. So one of the strains in the product, Bacillus indicus, actually once it gets to the intestines, it starts to produce RDA levels of carotenoids. So alpha and beta carotene, lycopene, lutein, astaxanthin, zeaxanthin, all of these carotenoids are being produced right where they need to be absorbed, so very bioavailable. So not only do you have this really, really super potent probiotic, but now you've got these bioavailable antioxidants um, all in one. So, you know, we're shelf stable, and so, you know, we always laugh because we have people who say, oh, but I need it to be refrigerated to, you know, that, that means it's a high quality probiotic. And so I would say that's one of the biggest myths in the industry. Um, you know, if a pro, the reason a probiotic needs to be refrigerated is because it's so stable, um, it's so um, sensitive that it cannot withstand the room temperature of the store shelf. So if it can't withstand the room temperature of the store shelf, then I wonder how is it going to survive 98.6 in your body? You know, the answer is it doesn't, and it really has a, they have a lot of difficulty surviving the body. Um, so the, the refrigeration is a myth. The other big myth is out there is like more is better. You know, oh, this one has 50 billion, or you need to take one at least with 20 billion. Oh, this one's got 100 billion CFUs. Um, there is no science that we are aware of that shows more is better. What is important is the quality of the strain. Um, that gut model study that I was telling you about earlier, we only used 1 billion CFUs in that study. 
1 billion CFUs caused a 30% favorable shift in the gut. It is not the quality, it's the quantity. And what is, you know, what does 1 billion do? And 1 billion of ours actually caused a 30% favorable shift. So um, it's a really, really effective approach to gut health. Um, we are, um, the, oh, one of the most important things is we just completed the first, as far as we know, human clinical trial, double blind placebo, university human clinical trial on leaky gut. Um, this is really, really um, game changing in the industry that we have a human clinical trial on this. Um, the pub, the study is going to be published in the next couple months, um, and it's going to be game changing the whole industry. Really, that we have a probiotic with a leaky gut study. Leaky gut is responsible for so many. I think there is a study out there saying 90% of non-communicable diseases um, are, you know, as a result of leaky gut, um, from heart disease to diabetes to Alzheimer's, all these things, on top of all the autoimmune issues that are out there. So um, this is really, really exciting, and so much so that we caught the attention of a group of HIV activists. Um, out of Rochester, New York, and um, I met last month with a um, group of the leading HIV doctors in Seattle. Um, they were the leading e HIV doctors in the world, but they were all meeting in Seattle, and uh, they are writing up a protocol to put it in a National Institute of Health study. Um, and so it's very, very exciting. Um, we're so excited to be here at Expo West and to be uh, telling you about uh, our game-changing product. And we, I always say, give it to your toughest, um, you know, loved one. Someone who has got the worst digestive issues or you know it's really you'll see what we're talking about this is we get the comment all the time this is not like any other probiotic I've ever tried and that's because it's not it's a completely different approach it's an effective approach um, and we hope you'll come on board thank you Bye.